In the video you're about to see, I'm going to show you how you can transform your cabinets as you see in the picture here and the tools and supplies needed to do it. In the first step, I'm removing all the hardware from the door using blue painter's tape to keep it all together. Then I'm taking Clorox wipes, removing all the dust, dirt, and grime from the door. To apply the stain, I am simply using a men's athletic sock. Underneath, I have put a rubber glove to keep the stain from staining my fingers. The reason for the sock is because we don't want paintbrush marks that a paintbrush would leave, but I am using a foam brush you can see in the corners of the door to get the small cracks and crevices. Make sure when you're applying the stain that you do go with the grain of the wood. Dry time is extremely important. Remember to wait the full 24 hours before applying this second coat. As you can see, I'm applying the second coat of stain the same as I did the first, going with the grain of the wood and using the sponge brush to get in the cracks and crevices, making sure that all the door is covered with the second coat of stain. Again, dry time is very critical. Wait the full 24 hours before applying this third coat. It will help the stain to adhere to the door much better waiting that full dry time. This is my third and final coat of stain on the door. However, I will tell you that some of my kitchen cabinets did require a fourth coat, depending on the look and the level of darkness, the stain that you want to achieve, you may have to do a fourth coat as well. The stain that I used in this project is called General Finishes, that's the brand, and the color is Java Gel Stain. I purchased this stain off of Amazon.com along with the top coat made by the same company, General Finishes, um, the polyurethane in satin finish. I applied two coats of this after the three coats of stain and I let dry time between each of the coats between four to eight hours. The other items that you need for this project, the Clorox wipes, the glove, the sock, the sponge brush, the tools to remove the hardware, and the stir stick to make sure that the stain gets properly stirred before using. And that is how you stain a door. Hi everyone, my name is Lindsay Clancy, owner, designer, and creator at Mommy's Monograms. Most of you now know me as the pajama painter, thanks to my husband for posting the picture of me remodeling our kitchen on Facebook in my pajamas. Um, I guess I've embraced the name. As you can see in the video, I was wearing pajamas the entire time. I don't have time to change out of my pajamas most days. I'm excited to start my projects and being a stay-at-home mom and owning my own business, uh, sometimes there's just not time. Feel free to reach out to me if I haven't answered anything in this video. Um, I'd be more than happy to. Uh, but the biggest thing is, is if you're thinking of doing this, don't waste any more time. Uh, turn this video off and go get started. Thanks guys for watching. Hope it was helpful. Thank you.